Hi guys, it's Mrs. Angley. This is your first video on how to use Blender, so we're going to try to go nice and slow. Um, and so our first project is going to be um, the Beatles Yellow Submarine. We are going to model it, and then we are also going to um, put some some um, animation with it as well. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to come over here to the um, editor type, and we want the UV image editor. Okay, so right now there's nothing in here, and so so what we need to do is we need to go add an image. So I click on open image. And so uh, my students, where you're going to find yours is you're going to click on the S drive over here and you're going to find it under the animation shared folder. For me, I have it in my Dropbox. So I am going to have to do a few more clicks um, for me to get to my Dropbox, but that's okay. Uh, if you'll just be patient with me, I'll get you there. There we go. And you are looking for the yellow sub.jpg. For those of you out in uh, YouTube land, I have added the um, the sub link to um, underneath in the description. Okay, so now we have it in the UV image editor. What we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our 3D view, and you notice that it went away. Okay, so what we have to do over here, um, there is an editors pan panel over here that is not open right now. So you can open it one of two ways. You can open it here, um, uh, and that was just a right uh, a left mouse click or you can do N. So N opens and closes it. I just remembered uh, screencast. There we go. Let me start that so you can see exactly what I'm doing as far as a mouse goes. Okay, what we need to do is we need to tell it that we, where is my background? Background images right here. Okay, so I am going to open this up and I am going to activate it because right now background images are not turned on. That didn't do anything because we need to add an image. And so um, that's why we added that UV image editor is because we wanted it to be in here. And so, whoops. So you notice that it's not showing right now, and there's a reason for that. Um, where did my, there it is. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to know that we are only going to want to see this in our left view. Amazingly enough, we do not, can't see it yet. Here's the reason why. It's in perspective view right now, and the difference between perspective view um, and orthographic view is, I think, I don't know, uh, pretty much your camera. See, this is your camera right here, this little, this little um, square pyramid thing. Um, and I think that has to do all with that. Um, but we're in perspective view right now. And so it's important on your number keypad. Don't use your number row pad up at the top of your keyboard, but the number keypad. You're going to hit number five. And that changes it to orthographic view. And so it's just going to look a little bit different. Um, it's it's going to look a little bit different. Like think about art and perspective and, and how things look. See, this doesn't look perspective right now. And that one kind of does. Like do you see how this one, like all the lines are parallel wherever you look on the, on the cube. And this one, if we were to draw some of those lines, they would meet at a vanishing point. That's kind of the difference. That's, that's where perspective is used if you wanted a little bit of an art lesson there. Okay, so we do not want perspective. We want orthographic view. And we said that we only want it on the left view and that is going to be one. There we go. Now why can't I see, no, left view is three, sorry. Nope, control three, there we go. Um, let me make sure, let me pause this for a minute and let me make sure that we do indeed want it on the left side. Hold on just a minute. Yes, I checked, it is the left view, okay? So that's just gonna be a control three. So control, what you need to know about control is it's kind of the opposite of. So if I say one is the front, so like one is the front, um, control one is the back. And so you can kind of see it uh, move. Three is the right, and where I'm getting that is right up here in the left-hand corner, right? And so if I do control three, that is the left. And notice that is the only place that the picture is showing up. And that is because we told it that's where we want it to go. The last thing they want us to do before we start to model is we want the size of this to be a little bit bigger. So this is the actual picture. And so we are going to want this size instead of to be five, we're going to want it to be seven. So you notice that the picture got a little bit bigger. 
Okay, so let's see. So control number pad three, we're going to be doing that a lot to see the left side. Um, it, and if you're not seeing it, it's because you're in that perspective view. So, so hit five if you need to um, see that. Okay, so the first thing that they want us to do, um, and, and I'm following some print directions that um, my students have in a binder to kind of follow along. And so if you're interested in where we are right now, we're kind of on page 11 to 12 in the, in the uh, document. And for those of you on YouTube land, I have actually attached one of these PDFs to the um, information as well. Okay, so we're just going to practice a little bit. Um, we're going to go to our front view, number one. And so that got rid of our background for right now, and, that, and that's completely okay. All right, so they are all automatically start off with this box, and we don't want this box, so we're going to highlight it. And so you can kind of see that it's yellow. Okay, and then we're going to hit X for delete, and we're going to say, yes, we do want to delete that. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to hit Shift A, that's to add a, um, a mesh object. And so we want to do Mesh UV Sphere. Okay, so it adds a sphere to it. Um, okay, so before you, um, uh, the very first thing that you want to do whenever you add something to your um, UV editor, okay, or mesh editor. What you want to do is after you add something, if you want to change segments, or especially in a sphere, segments, uh, rings, size, any of that, you want to make sure and do it right now before you click off of it and start to reshape it. So they want us to take this from 32 to 20, and notice what happens when I do that. So notice that those, those um, segments, kind of like orange segments is kind of how I think about it, and they want us to go from 16 rings to 20 rings, and so now notice what happens when I do that. So there was a few more rings added there. Okay, so we're going to zoom in a, bit, a bit. So the way that we do that is your middle mouse button. Okay, um, let's see. So we're currently in object mode. How I know that is down here in the, um, the left-hand corner. And so what they want us to do is they want us to go into edit mode. So right now, we're really not able to do much because it's in object mode. But the minute that we hit edit mode, we can start to do things with it, okay? Um, so what I did is I hit tab to to go from edit mode. If I hit tab again, it goes back to object. Tab again, it goes back to, to edit. Um, so we are going to press the A key to deselect. So A is kind of like a toggle again. A selects, deselects, selects, and so on. They want us to be deselected. Um, they want us to press the Z key. Okay, Z key turns it from a solid mode into a wireframe mode. Okay, that's going to be important. Wireframe, you want to probably do most of your modeling in wireframe mode. The reason is, is because when it's in solid, and let's say you choose um, a, a um, vertex or, or vertice or whatever it might be, it's only going to choose that one. Okay, if I am in wireframe mode, and let's say I box, let's say I box um, those two. You can see that there were two um, selected there. Okay, if it was in solid mode, oops, solid mode, <laughs> there we go, and I box select this one. Well, I got to get it, there we go. Okay, and I box select this one. Okay, now you can see that only that one was chosen. Okay, so that's really important to know whenever you're, so most times you probably want to do it in solid mode. Okay, um, so go back to object mode, it says. I want to deselect all that stuff. Go back to object mode. Okay. Press the A key to deselect the sphere. Okay. Press the UV sphere by right-clicking on any of the wireframe lines, okay? So the, and, and that works because we are in object mode. Zoom out a bit by scrolling down your scroll wheel. I am just reading the directions right from the PDF. Um, notice that the transform widget is displayed at the, the transform widget has a red and blue arrow. Okay, so they're talking about this widget arrow right here, okay? So these are your actual axes, okay? Let me, ah, let me, um, 
There we go. Okay, I'm middle mouse button, button, button around to kind of see this. Okay, so let's say I wanted to, and the way I know which axes these are is I can see them right here. So this is the X, so the red is the X, and then the green is the Y, and the blue is the Z. So let's say I wanted to move this along this axis. So this would be the Y axis. I'm moving along the Y axis. I'm just left clicking on that green. If I want to move it up and down, I'm going to do it on the blue. And I, if I want to move it left and right, I move it this way. Okay, so those uh, that's your widget arrow. So anytime that I um, talk about your widget arrow. Now, you don't have to necessarily do that. You can grab it by just hitting G and you can free move it. Okay, so you can free move it anywhere that you want to. And then when you find a spot that you want it, you just click and you drop it into place. Okay. One thing that you're going to learn is Control Z. Control Z will always undo your last thing, and it, and it will do Control Z several times. Okay, so let's say you did something and you cut and, and ex extruded and, and you just didn't like it. You can Control Z as many times, I think up to like 25 times or something like that, um, to to undo it. Okay, let's say you press the grab key and you and you and you don't want to grab it. Okay, if if you're like, ah, what do I do? Just hit the escape key, escape. That's all I, that's what I just did. And it will take right back to if you hit something, um, the escape key will help you. Okay. The scale key, the S, the scale key um, allows you to go in and out. Okay. So let's say I want this to be really big or really tiny. Okay. All I'm doing is I press the S key and that I am moving my mouse back and forth. Okay, so, and then when you find where you want it, you just sit it down by left clicking. Okay, let's say I want to rotate it. Okay, so R lets me rotate it. Okay, um, and I think it's rotating around a certain axis. I think maybe the Y axis, maybe? If I remember correctly. Yeah, R lets you, double R lets you free rotate it. That's what it is, yeah. I'm almost sure because I double R'd that. Okay. Um, just some kind of fun things to know about. Let's see. What else do you need to know? Uh, da -da -da. They're talking about over here the sphere. Um, each object has a unique name. Okay. So we can over here. Okay. So there's two places to change this. We can either double click here and change the name of your object over here. That is typically where I do it, just so you know, because you're gonna to start to have lots and lots of objects over here. Notice that we have the camera and the lamp. Those are gonna be always default objects. And so whatever you add over here, there's gonna be a big long list. The easiest way for me to is, is to um, uh, do it over here. They're telling you also that a way that you can do it is right here as well, the item, and you can change it here. So if I changed it to ball over here, it changes it automatically over there as well. Okay, so what, whatever your preference is. Um, okay, so I think what they want us to do now is they just, that it's already selected. We're going to go ahead and get out of there. That was just kind of a practice thing so that you can see um, how we're going to do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and so they're showing you now how to save okay so um my students what you're going to do is you are going to go ahead and save let's go ahead and save on the x drive um wow i have lots of blender files don't i wow um you're going to go say ahead and save on the x drive because these files can get uh pretty large and so you know how to do that i'm going to go ahead and save to my dropbox um that's just typically where i where I like to save things. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Oh, let's see, Dropbox. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Uh -huh. Yellow stuff. All right, so I'm going to title this. Make sure you title it something, okay? If you don't, then then you're going to be um, yellow. I've done this project several times, so I'm going to call it 1718. Um, okay, so make sure you click on Save as Blender File, and it probably requires you to do it twice. Okay, 
So now we are going to model. Okay, so control number pad three. There we go, a little bit too big, so let's zoom out. Remember to zoom in and out is uh, the uh, middle mouse button. We are going to put our 3D cursor in the middle of the sub. And so this is just an estimate. So let's see, there we go. And see that little cursor, kind of like a little target thing that is going to be our, um, uh, they want it to be kind of down here. I think they want it to be in the middle between here and here. Okay, so we are going to, Make sure you are in solid shading mode. I'll figure that out in just a minute. All right, so we're going to shift A, and we are going to add a mesh circle. Mesh circle. Okay. Do you want shading? Oh, there we go. Okay, that's where they wanted us to be. Okay. Um, okay, so add circle. They want us to change that to 20. And um, the rotation. So now up here in our object, we're still in our object mode. They want us to change our rotation. For on the X axis, they want us to rotate this 90 degrees. So watch what happens. So it turned it to the right. Um, we're going to zoom in a little bit to kind of look at this circle. So we see this yellow line running um, up and down. Um, we are going to scale this. So control, I can't remember. Okay. All right. So is it control middle mouse button? All right, I can't remember how we can get it to move. I'll have to think about it. Okay, so they want us to scale this. So let's scale it so that it is about the length in between the top and the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, do you see what I did? So when I scaled it, do you see this little part right here at the top? And this little part down here at the bottom is about, is about the same. And the reason I did that is because now I'm going to grab that blue widget arrow, and I'm going to grab it and that little extra at the top is going to take up for the little extra at the bottom that I didn't have, and that's going to make it perfect. Okay. All right. So I think we're about, this takes me to 17 minutes, and I am going to teach you how to extrude, and then we are going to, uh, maybe not even that much. Okay. So press the A key to deselect the circle, and... It looks like a black line. That should be right click, select the object again, right click to select. There you go. Press the tab button. And now we are in edit mode. Um, okay, so now we're going to extrude. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the E button. And this is kind of cool what you can do. And then we can, um, they want us to extrude all the way out to right here, and we are going to scale that down just a little bit to have it fit. There you go. And I'm going to stop the video here, but watch what happens when you middle mouse button around. That This is the coolest part. When kids get to be that part, they're like, yeah, wow, look at that. Okay, so of course, control three is going to take it back to where we were. All right, so I'm going to stop this video here. Um, and then on the next part, we will finish our modeling of the LSM. See you soon.